Hello viewers, today I am posting a review video of PDF Element from Wondershare. This application is available on both Windows and Mac, covering major operating system versions. This is the most powerful software available in market that is used to edit and convert PDFs. Let's get started and check out its features. Let's see how easily we can edit the PDFs by opening a sample file. We must first enable editing mode by clicking edit icon on upper left corner. It has two modes, line mode and paragraph mode. Line mode will enable you to select and edit one single line at a time. While paragraph mode will enable you to select entire paragraph and edit it in one shot. We have few more options in right side pane to edit the text. Like, you can change the fonts. Increase the font size. Change font color. Make it italic. Align paragraph to middle, right and left. These options are similar to any office application options. Additionally, you can increase the spacing between each characters and also between each line within paragraphs. PDF element also supports editing image of different formats as shown on screen. You can change the height of images, you can increase the widths, resize to custom sizes. We have options to rotate the shape by 90 degree, both clockwise and anti-clockwise. Say you have few image elements which are not properly aligned, using PDF element, you can align them properly and distribute evenly either horizontally or vertically. PDF element gives excellent options to create forms as well. You can go to form tab to find these options. You can create a text field, check boxes, radio buttons. You can also create drop down boxes with further options to add values into your drop down list. Similar way, you can add a list box and customize each list values. To check these form fields, you must come out of edit mode. Now you will be able to add texts, click on check boxes and radio buttons. Also you will see the customized options listed in drop down and list box. As you can see, these options are pretty simple with very effective results. Most of the time it becomes important to add watermarks into your PDFs. Using PDF element you can do it very easily. Head to edit tab and choose new watermark. Here you will find option to create watermark either using text or using any image file. Just add the watermark text, change font type, size, color. It will show your preview of all the changes. Also you have options to tile your watermark text, control its opacity and many more options. I personally felt it has all the necessary options in it. Last but not the least, PDF element has OCR functionality for all the languages shown on screen. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. Will help you to identify text and images from scanned PDF files and in turn will enable you to edit them. PDF element will allow you to create PDF from various formats like Excel, Word, PowerPoint and many image formats. I will show you an example by converting a PowerPoint into PDF. Click on create PDF and choose any PowerPoint file. This file will be converted into PDF very easily. Not just that, each text and image elements in this PDF will be editable. That's really amazing. PDF element will also allow you to convert PDF into other file formats as well. Let me save this PDF file and then convert it back to PowerPoint.
click on convert pdf and choose already saved pdf file here you will be prompted to save this different file formats just choose powerpoint and it will be converted very easily again each text and image elements in this ppt file will be editable you can open that powerpoint file and ungroup each elements you can also choose multiple files to convert them into PDF or from PDF back to any formats with literally no limit on number of files. As you can see, each of these shapes are now editable. Let us now see how you can encrypt your PDF file and check out different options. Go to protect tab and then choose apply password to encrypt your PDF file option. You can click on require a password to open this file and type your password. At the permission section, you can restrict few features to users. Type in the different password and choose if this PDF file can be printed and also if any changes is allowed. At the encryption level, choose your security type and click on OK to encrypt your file. There are few more options which are good to know. Under Home tab, you will find the option of Combine Files. Click on Add to select multiple file and hit Next to combine selected PDFs. Under Convert tab, you will find the option of Optimize PDF. Use this option to reduce the size of your document without losing quality. Let's now go to Page tab. Here you will find few options to extract pages out of your document and insert blank pages into your document. If in case you don't need these pages, just right click and delete them back. Finally, under protect tab, you will find the option to digitally sign your document. Say if you are a HR of a company, make use of your digital ID and add your signature into the document. You can check out the links in the video description to try this wonderful application which can digitize paperwork and accelerate the way you create, prepare, and sign documents.